Okay guys, welcome back. This is Gina Not Gina Productions. I'm Gina Not Gina and we are finishing up Outlast. So let's just continue. I'm probably really gonna regret not just trying to squeeze it in at the last episode. But now I have time to talk about the game once I'm done. Yeah. Come on, Miles. One last hurrah, you and me. Poor Miles Upshur. He just wanted to do a story. My Jeep. Oh. You assholes. You assholes. You know what? I am the law writer, and I'm gonna fucking kill all of you. I have. Bye, motherfucker. Thanks a lot. There you go, guys. We finished Outlast. So, I have to say, it was really, really good. I was really, really impressed. Um, I, it was a lot more than I thought it would be. I thought it was just going to be like most scary games that really just kind of thrive on the scariness of the game, but don't really have a very solid story. I mean, there are horror games out there that have absolutely fantastic stories. Fatal Frame, all three of them are my some of my favorite games I ever have played, and they ha all have such an intriguing story. But with this one, I just... I didn't know much about it, so I didn't know what to expect, so I didn't expect a lot, but I really, really, really liked it, and, uh, you know, <sighs> I'm just really, really impressed, and now this game will definitely have a very soft place in my heart, as awful as that is, because it's a terrible, terrible story. I mean, it's a great story, but it's awful. But, um... It's my first walkthrough, guys. We have a finished, we have finally, my very first game I finished all the way through from start to finish. And um, that's just so awesome. I'm so excited. Um, I think we, I will continue on immediately with Whistleblower. Um, I'm used to the controls and you know I just I want to see what it's about because this is such an intriguing story um, I'm hoping maybe whistleblower will kind of go a little bit to what happens after this if everybody's well I guess no they're not all dead there's still a bunch of uh, crazies in the asylum but what's gonna happen to the wall rider what I still don't even know what the wall rider is so all these guys are watching through the credits right now you guys are amazing and you made an amazing game it looked amazing it felt amazing it was scary without being obnoxious and repetitious and unoriginal i mean it was just really 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 good so um thank you thank you everybody who played this game or made this game and um you guys are doing a really really great job and i am looking forward to playing more outlast um yeah, so I think I can just skip this. No, I can't. But um, yeah, like I said, this video was, I knew after I cut off the last video, it was probably only going to be like two seconds of uh, like five minutes of previews or commercials or credits, <laughs> whatever they're called. So um, I don't think this is going to, I just want to see if something happens. So we're just going to hang out, drink some OJ. I have nasty lipstick on my straw. My grandma used to always have lipstick on her straw and it grossed me out. And she would have lipstick on the edge of her glass and on her straw and I just thought it was disgusting. But now I leave lipstick on everything because I love lipstick. I do and I just got this shade yesterday. I love it. Uh, anything gonna happen? Nope. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I am probably just going to start Whistleblower. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, like, favorite, share, and subscribe.